All right, folks, this is Harris Sultan, your favorite ex-Muslim atheist, and welcome to another episode of Sultan's House of Sin. Saqib Ahmed, I've never seen you before. By the way, Muhammad Alabash said, you're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You Wallahi, you're finished. Yes. Okay, so I, I just had to uh, sh show you this hadith, and I've actually given a challenge to these Muslims these days. I'm actually an ex-Muslim. Um, so this is a hadith from Sayyid Bukhari, it's 5779, and Sayyid Muslim 2047. This hadith basically says that <laughs> if you just ate like seven ajwa days, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's um, then well. no poison and no magic. Well, yeah, so, so, so nowadays when a Muslim tells me that, you know what, I will convert you to Islam for good and I will prove to you factually that there's no problem with Islam whatsoever. I give them a challenge. Okay, you believe in the Hadith, you believe in Sayyid Bukhari, Sayyid Muslim, and even Sunan uh, Abi Dawud. So, okay, yeah, these, and it's a Sayyid Hadith actually. I tell them that, okay, you know what, Okay, I'll believe you. Just do this challenge for me. For, for a month, just a month, you can do it for a year if you want, <laughs> if, you, if you stay alive, that is. Um, so yeah, I tell them, okay, eat seven dates, drink a lot of poison, drink six to seven bottles of poison a day, different types of poison every single day. And they say, okay, you know what, you know, let's just skip the ahadith, <laughs> let's just go to the Quran. So, you know, from they already disbelieved the hadith at that point. They say, you know what, I'm, I'm never going to fucking do that because that makes absolutely no fucking sense. <laughs> you know, you, you just cannot eat seven dates and then just, you know, drink as much poison as you want. I mean, my question is, wh how can people still believe in this? Why do people believe in this? I mean, it, it, it just makes no sense. Yeah, well, again, you know, it's, it, we have this strong urge to protect our identity. And this is why I think targeting the idea of identity is, is very important. It's one of the key components of people's uh, social makeup. Um, and this is why I actually hate the Hindu revivalism as well, because people get emotionally attached to it. Oh, these are our ancestors, just like they're Muslims. Oh, it's our identity. We are Muslims first, then we are Americans, or then we are Pakistanis or whatnot, um, because they are emotionally tied to this identity. So even if you fax slap them um, 10, 15 times right in front of them, you know, you, that's just one good point that you gave them. You, you, give, you gave them multiple other points as well. There would be they would do everything they can to somehow get out of that, not by yeah. lying, but actually lying to themselves. Oh, you know, what probably Prophet was talking about a different kind of a poison. Those poisons don't exist anymore. They just shift the goalposts. Yeah. So they would shift the goalposts and they would just change it and change it. But you know what? They will never admit it in front of you then and there. But trust me. These religions are so weak, they're so weak that they go home, they think about it, they come back. I mean, we have so many stories, stories like Sarah Hayda told a story that she wanted, she, she accidentally got into a conversation with someone who was criticizing Islam. She was like, oh, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to go home. I'm going to do some research. And more she read into it. She was like, oh, damn, that Islamophobic God was right. <laughs> you know. So so when you when you throw these little when, when you do this little fact slapping with these people, they would be like, hmm, they might not admit it in front of you. I have I have had messages where people, you know, like in 2018, he was like, Harris, I'm going to hunt you down. I'm going to kill you, blah, 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 blah. And in 2020, bro, sorry, I've changed my mind. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, whoa. So it's, it's a slow process. It cannot happen overnight. And I always tell myself, whenever I argue with these people, you know, I sometimes go really easy on them. Sometimes, unless they're obviously trying to piss me off on purpose, then I might, uh, you know, then I might react. But mostly, you know, like I, I enjoy conversations with them because I look back that how long did it take me to actually fully one day be able to say, oh, I'm not a Muslim anymore. It actually took me a very long time. I mean, I never kept a track of it, but I look back now that in 2004, sorry, 2006, I first read yeah. The God Delusion, and then maybe up until 2007, I was still a Muslim. I mean, I, was I a Muslim? Maybe I wasn't, but I would still fear about, um, you know, being burned in hell uh, or something. I, I was still thinking about those things. But then something happened one day when I thought about, oh, am I religious? And I'm like, huh, poof, that's just all nonsense. 
So we, whoever you're speaking with, keep giving them these challenges, but don't be surprised yeah. if a year later they'll be like, man, because that's one thing that you're going to give them. They're going to do, uh, they're going to find other things. Because Google's everyone's friend. They're going to go, oh, I'm going to prove uh, Saki wrong. I'm going to go, hmm, arguments against Islam. Huh? There's like 50 million arguments against Islam. Okay, I'm going to read some of them. And then he's going to read it, and then, it, then there's going to be a struggle in his mind that which sense, which side makes more sense, unless he just shuts it down. And I know some people who still say to me, oh, Harris, I'm a Muslim. They actually stop looking into it because that's what the only way for them to protect their faith. Um, there's also there are also a different more hadith which say that like if you have such questions just refrain from these questions because you yeah, know yeah. obviously it's satan which is you know basically he's trying to spread his agenda so you yeah. should not question it if you have such i if you have such ideas which are against islam like for example there is an authentic hadith which says that if you ask who created what who created what and that question eventually leads to that who created allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <laughs> then then don't question that because that's at that point you know it's satan at that point it's not your own curiosity at that point it's satan so i mean right. yeah this this challenge but this challenge specifically works the best i mean this this never fails so yeah i just wanted to suggest you this that right. the well, next time you. when I, when these Dava boys come, you just <laughs> throw this at them. You know, if you want to make me Muslim, just prove to me this. No, but, you know there was a guy, no, but you know, there was the, there's a video of Ratwi something guy. He actually did drink rat poison. He's he, Google it. A, a Muslim cleric drinks rat poison. Was it real? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. He actually apparently he drank it and nothing happened to him. It's fabricated. Uh, it's mostly fabricated. It's never real. Well, uh, those, I, yeah, of course, of course, it's fake. But but I don't know how it happened because there was a Christian woman who gave it to him. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.